My name's Dr. Peter Lovett, um, and I'm a, a psychologist. I run the Dance Psychology Lab at the University of Hertfordshire, and I've brought a whole set of research with me up to the Science Festival um, to really integrate people into the science of dance. So there's this event here at the National Museum of Scotland, which is really exciting, very interactive. We're going to take little tiny video samples of hundreds of people dancing, and we're going to measure certain characteristics of those people, and we want to look for a, a relationship between people's hormones and the way in which they dance. We look at things like dance and health, trying to understand why is it the case that people with neurodegenerative disorders like Parkinson's disease, when they engage in recreational dance, it can lead to an improvement in their symptoms. I'm doing another event where we're looking at the psychology of the groove. So the psychology of the groove is why is it the case that when we hear certain pieces of music, we just can't stop moving parts of our body? And of course, what we're thinking about there is some people have a lot of the groove and some people have less of the groove. And what is it about us that either gives us the groove or doesn't give us the groove? And then another event we're looking at is about how we communicate science by using dance. It's important for me to come to this festival because I'm a scientist who works through the medium of dance. And so it's great for me to be able to meet lots of like-minded people and then to open up science to the broadest possible audience and to open it to people who are both interested in science. But then also the other side is getting people who are interested in dance interested in science. So if somebody can come to one of my talks or exhibits on the basis that there's going to be dancing there, or they can see dancing or feel dancing or think about dancing, and if they have some understanding of science as well, then that's for me, that's, that's, that's really why I'm here.